Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, anything we're speaking about here today, questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, our number 844236. 6010. That's 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or the Longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and help me and my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're an entrepreneur, if nutritional supplementation has helped you in your life, if you're health-minded and you want to spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program, this is a business that you want to look into. You can be in business for a one-time $25 fee. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business right off your home office, right off your mileage, your stamps. Get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you want to do for a one-time $25 fee. You can get all your products at the wholesale price at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up right off the websites or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C-Balm, and our award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. If you're tired of having a medicine cabinet filled with products that don't work, if you're tired of products that don't work, if you're tired of paying for 98% baloney, 99% nothing, water, filler, waxes, if your skin health products aren't doing what you want them to do, if you want products that heal your skin in addition to anti-aging your skin, you need our Truth Treatment products. There are truthtreatments.com, and we have free shipping for the month of December. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking fluoride, the aging factor, as uh, probably the world's premier expert on fluoride and on the toxicity of fluoride, Dr. John Yaamoilanis. That's a mouthful there. Yaamoilanis. Y-I-A-M-O-U-Y-L-A-N-N-I-S. He has a book out called the. Uh, it's a, actually, it's been out for 25 or 30 years now. Called the fluoride, uh, called fluoride, the aging factor. He's written a lot about the toxicity associated with fluoride, and his contention is, and and based on a lot of good science, his contention is the fluoride accelerates the aging process. It is a fibrosis-inducing um, element. It, the body fluoride is har- harsh stuff to the body. 
So it induces a fibrotic condition that's sort of a protective mechanism. And whenever you have fibrosis, there is a good chance, if you're living in 21st century America, that it has something at least a little bit to do with fluoride in the water. Fluoride is especially damaging to the tiny little blood vessels in the kidney. The collagen effects or the fiber effects, fibrosis effects, uh, have a, um, a role to play in skin damage. It's pro-wrinkle, pro-fine line. We wash our faces with fluoride every day. Use your Truth, Truth Transdermal C Serum or Truth Transdermal C Balm to deactivate the fluoride in your tap water. But fluoride's most damaging effects, arguably, are on the neurology, on the brain. It deposits in the brain. It accumulates in the brain. And it accumulates in the brain. How much, how much is going to end up in our brain over the course of a lifetime of fluoride ingestion and that's what most of us are doing. We're ingesting fluoride, and you can't really, you can't get away from it. It's everywhere. I'm not just talking tap water. I'm not just talking toothpaste. I'm not just talking tooth gels. It's in the chicken. It's in the tomatoes. It's everywhere because we use tap water everywhere, and animals drink tap water. So you're not going to get, a, you're not going to really get away from fluoride. Although you don't want, you will certainly want to minimize its ingestion by not drinking tap water if you can, or by using a, a filter. So fluoride's most damaging effects are on the brain, and arguably anyway, and uh, it could, maybe it's no coincidence that since fluoridation of the water became, became uh, popularized in the 1940s, 1950s or so, incidences of brain diseases have gone up a lot. Dementia, Alzheimer's disease, autism, ADD, schizophrenia, psychosis. So who knows? Maybe, maybe it's a fluoride problem. Certainly we know it affects the brain. Certainly we know it affects the neurology. But you won't have any cavities, but it'll affect your brain. And it's especially a problem with kids. And that's where autism comes in. And childhood depression. And even childhood suicide. We have an issue, issue in this country with childhood suicide. Now, I'm not saying it's all about fluoride, of course. But it's not helping you. Fluoride certainly doesn't help, especially on the growing brain. And again, it's everywhere. It's in our food. It's in our medication. You know, uh, SSRI drugs that they ironically give you for brain health issues, for depression, uh, for anxiety, for bipolar disorder. Uh, SSRI drugs are fluoridated drugs. So you get even more fluoride when you take your SSRI drugs. It's a pollutant. It's in pesticides. It's every time you eat strawberries or, or uh, lettuce or grapes, the odds are pretty good you're eating fluoride-based pesticides along with your fruits. Think we got a problem here? Yes. Now, what do you do about it? You supplement. You make sure you're using your vitamin C. You make sure you're getting enough magnesium. You make sure you're getting enough zinc and vitamin E and detoxifying nutrients. You make sure you're using uh, something like bentonite clay or, uh, or something fulvic acid or, or um, a spirulina or zeolites. These are detoxifying substances, and you certainly don't put extra toxins in your body with drugs and with sugar. And that's really the issue here. We're not going to get away from fluoride, all right? You can minimize your, your uh, interactions with it through filtering and drinking distilled water, but it's in the environment. It's embedded pretty much in our environment at this point. So what you do is you protect yourself. You protect yourself with the Healthy Start Pack. You protect yourself with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You protect yourself by using it all day long. You protect, itself, you protect yourself by moving your lymph, by deep breathing. All the things we talk about here on this program will protect you from the inevitable interactions we're going to have with fluoride and other environmental toxins that are embedded in the environment pretty much permanently, at least for the next thousand years or so, because of industrialization and, and toxicity. According to the journal Brain Research, chronic exposure to fluoride in the drinking water of rats compromises uh, hippocampal integrity. The hippocampus is your learning center. The hippocampus is particularly affected by fluoride. Also, blood vessel integrity, the blood-brain barrier, is affected. And that's a really big problem. You know, you have a blood-brain barrier that separates the blood from the brain. The, blood can, the brain cannot be susceptible to toxicity that's in the blood, so there's a barrier. It's called the blood-brain barrier. Unfortunately, lots of things that we do help break that 
blood-brain barrier down, and that, that too accounts for Alzheimer's dementia and Parkinson's disease and Bell's palsy and Huntington's disease and all the other ways that the brain can deteriorate. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, if you're uh, dealing with hypothyroidism, iodine issues, Truth Skin Health pro- uh, questions about our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, by the way, is our website. Got free shipping for the month of December. Our number today, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. And we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. So we're talking fluoride, we're talking about it's particularly harmful. It affects every system in the body, make no mistake about it, but it's particularly damaging to the brain, to neurology, the learning center of the brain, the memory center of the brain, the blood-brain barrier is also affected by fluoride. That means more toxicity into the brain, that means higher rates of brain health issues in general, but just kind of brain fog. You know, you, we talk about autism, schizophrenia, and Huntington's disease, and Parkinson's disease, and dementias, but you got brain problems, just kind of brain fog. You just don't think clearly. You may not even know you have a brain health issue or mental health issue. And this is especially problematic in kids. According to the International Journal of Environmental Studies, the silica fluorides in fluoridated drinking water increase levels of lead in children's blood. And we know lead is a huge problem, and lead poisoning is a huge problem. Subclinical lead poisoning. By the way, I, you probably, guys probably heard of the uh, whole <laughs> the whole scandal that went, went on in Flint, Michigan last year, or earlier this year, I think it was. There was lead in the water, contaminated the water. There's all kinds of health issues associated with that. Well, you know what? Most municipal cities have some degree of lead in the water, and fluoride in the water makes it worse, because fluoride increases the amount of lead that leaches out of pipes. According to the International Journal of Environmental Studies, this increased levels, of, uh, uh, increased levels of lead in children's blood is a risk factor that predicts higher crime rates, as well as learning disabilities. You see how this whole thing is, everything is linked. Our drinking water is connected to our crime rates via fluoride. The ISFR, the International Journal of Environmental Studies, also reports that when fluoride, uh, fluoride is added to the drug prednisolone, prednisolone is a steroid drug that is used for everything from skin problems to autoimmune diseases. When you add fluoride to the molecule, you get something called dexamethasone, and, and that is way more powerful than prednisolone. Just by fluoridating the prednisolone, you get a way more toxic drug that disrupts uh, behavior, reduces IQ, reduces reduces reading comprehension, ar- arithmetic calculations are disturbed, memory. Just by fluoridating the molecule, you get much, har- uh, much more significant side effects, toxicities. Adding a fluoride molecule to pharmaceutical medications is something drug companies love to do because fluoride potentizes drugs. It makes drugs stronger. Fluoride is a powerful, powerful element, and when you add it to a drug, it disrupts chemistry. That's what a drug is supposed to do. It disrupts the chemistry of the body even more efficiently than the drug without the fluoride. Prednisolone and dexamethasone, by the way, these steroid drugs that dermatologists love to use, it's pretty much the only thing, only tool they have at their disposal is to shut your immune system down. That's why I have such a problem with dermatology as a, as a, uh, as a medical science, or it's not really even a science. Dermatology is stuck in the 1950s. If you go to a doctor, you're pretty much going to get this, a dermatologist, you're going to pretty much get the same kinds of treatments that you would have gotten 50 years ago, i.e. antibiotics or immune suppressants, typically steroids. Prednisolone, dexamethasone are, are their favorites, or among their favorites. And these are drug versions of stress hormones. And by the way, fluoride is toxic to the adrenals. Fluoride is a known hormone disruptor. It's a known endocrine disruptor. Makes sense because they're fluoridating these steroid drugs to make them more potent. So fluoride has an effect on your endocrine system, on your hormone system, on your steroid system, on your cortisol, on your testosterone, on your estrogen. These are your building hormones, your growth hormones, your stress management hormones, your excitement hormones, 
your, your passion and dynamism hormones, your fertility hormones. These are the hormones of youth, the hormones of strength and vigor. And guess what? Fluoride dumps them down. I, I cannot help. It's got to be some, there's got to be some element of population control that's associated with this whole fluoridation of water. I, I don't want to go all conspiracy theory here, but it, it just doesn't make sense from an intelligence point of view, from a rational point of view, to fluoridate the water to get, have nicer teeth. It, it just flies in the face of logic. It's got to be some kind of hypnotic trance that we're all, we've all fallen for to accept this stupidity. And I can't help but believe, given the well-known effects of fluoride on every system in the body, especially the brain and the fertility system, our youth and vigor system, that there's not some kind of ulterior motive of population control here. I, I, I think that's why they want to put statin drugs in the water, too. Do you know that's the, there are actually supposedly sane scientists who believe that you should, we should be putting statin drugs in the water? Same idea. Statin drugs dumb us down. Statin drugs weaken us. Statin drugs domesticate us, like fluoride. It's all about domestication. This, I don't want to say it's all about domestication, but that's a major part of what fluoride does to the, to the body. It domesticates us. That's what a major part of what prescription drugs do to the body. They weaken us. They domesticate us. They make us easier to control. And speaking of being easier to control, fluoride especially affects our major, major biochemical control center, which is called the pineal gland. The pineal gland is so magical and mysterious and even spiritual, it was called the seat of the soul by none other than Rene Descartes, the I think, therefore I am philosopher from the Middle Ages. Great, brilliant mathematician and philosopher. And he called the pineal gland the seat of the soul. The pineal gland is about the size of a grain of rice right in the center of your brain. It's your melatonin, serotonin for, uh, gland. It's considered to be the master of the master glands. It is so spiritual and mysterious and magical that it's been recognized throughout history by, uh, by religions, by cults, religious cults, as well as religion, uh, official religions like Catholicism. The pineal gland is shaped like a pine cone. Pineal comes from, the word pineal comes from the word pine cone in Latin, and it may be the most important structure in the body. The pineal gland is the only part of the brain that is not sequestered from the blood. This is very important. The rest of the blood, the rest of the brain is, there's a barrier, the blood-brain barrier, so it keeps things from getting into the rest of the brain. The pineal gland is not sequestered by the blood. It has to have an intimate connection to the blood because it secretes our major control hormones. That, there are a lot of hormones. We've been talking all, uh, about hormones. We always talk about hormones on this program. Hormones being uh, little, ke little chemicals that make cells do things, basically. But there's two chemicals that control all the, there's two hormones that control all the other hormones. And that's melatonin and serotonin. There are day-night hormones. There are the hormones that regulate all the other hormones because everything is keyed into this day-night cycle. The body is attuned to day-night. It's attuned to a 24-hour rhythm. So certain things happen at 9 o'clock, then at 10 o'clock, then at 11 o'clock, based on the movement of the sun, based on how the sun uh, is interacting through our eyes with the pineal gland. We're sun beings in that sense. We're connected to the sun. Our cycles are connected to the sun. That cycle is called the circadian rhythm. And the circadian rhythm, this day-night cycle, is regulated by the pineal gland, which is especially affected by fluoride. We're going to spend some time talking about the pineal gland. It's so amazing and so cool. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open. We'll be looking. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients, fluoride, iodine, thyroid issues, circadian rhythm questions. Love this idea of the circadian rhythm. If you have insomnia where you, 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 uh, you just feel really tired but you can't fall asleep at night or you get up, wake up in the middle of the night and you can't fall back asleep, chances are pretty good that you've got something going on with your circadian rhythm. Something's off with your 24-hour day-night cycle, which is completely understandable given our culture where we have 
24-hour lighting. This is kind of an interesting issue nobody even talks about. In the last 100 years, we've created a world of 24-hour lighting. Now, if you, we didn't know about the circadian rhythm when Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. But over the last, you, you know, even if you throw in fire and, and lanterns and kerosene lamps and such, it's only been a few hundred years that we've had this kind of I, this light when there wasn't the sun. The body isn't used to that. The circadian rhythm that controls all, uh, that controls our two ma master hormones, melatonin and serotonin, two amazingly important hormones. And yet another example of the stupidity of the medical model that wants you to take drugs that screw up your serotonin levels, your brain serotonin levels. By the way, serotonin is mostly a digestive hormone, not a brain hormone. It's a whole other interesting topic. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will continue talking about the mysterious and magical pineal gland and all of the uh, problems associated with fluoride, as well as the circadian rhythm, the 24-hour day-night day, night cycle, and its impact on things like obesity, diabetes, and, and, its impact, and its impact on probably on what is the single most important, not probably, definitely, the single most important health crisis facing humanity at this point in time. It's called metabolic syndrome. And it's a problem associated with blood sugar, messed up blood sugar, which in turn is caused by a messed up digestive system, as well as issues with the circadian rhythm and fluoride and 24-hour lighting, et cetera. We'll continue this discussion on our next Bright Side episode, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. From Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, a diet rich in apples and tomatoes may help repair lungs of ex-smokers. You know, if you're an ex-smoker, that's great. But depending on how long you've been smoking for, you're not out of the woods. Sometimes these cancers take decades to show up. So if you're an ex-smoker, it is extra, 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 extra important that you take care of your body, that you take care of your biochemistry, that you don't put load on your body. Remember we talked about environmental load yesterday, how straw, there's a straw that breaks the camel's back phenomena that occurs when we get sick. Well, if you're an ex-smoker, depending on how long you smoked for, you have lots of straws that are on that camel's back that are not going away. And yes, it's great that you quit smoking because you took some straws off, but there's still a lot of straws that are just not going away. Your camel's back is already compromised permanently. So it becomes super extra important that you get on a nutritional supplement program that features vitamin C. You probably want extra alpha lipoic acid. You want extra vitamin E. You want extra uh, magnesium. Get on your healthy start pack. Get the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Lay off of sugar. And according to this article, which was published in the uh, December first issue of European Respiratory Journal, a diet rich in apples and tomatoes may help repair your lungs if you're an ex-smoker. Probably diet. Uh, it's the red. Both apples and tomatoes are a good source of carotenes and like something called lycopene, which is uh, can be very helpful for the lungs as well as for the eyes. Colors, colors, colors. Go colors. Colors are especially important for the skin and eyes, but every system in the body will benefit from colors. Pigments, reds, yellows, greens. The reds are, are especially important for the lungs and for the eyes and for the skin. I've always said that these pigments are your best sunscreen agents. That's how we should be protecting our skin from the sun, by the way, is with pigments from fruits and vegetables. And when we're older, we don't absorb our pigments as effectively. And so that means if you're older, and by older I mean over 35 or 40, pretty much everybody, you know, 30, over, once you hit 35, things really start to break down pretty fast. But you, anybody can benefit from a good nutritional supplement program, even kids. Anyway, if you're 35 or 40 and you fi find that your, uh, sun, sun, uh, your skin is accelerated, the, uh, your skin aging is accelerating based on sun damage, dark spots, wrinkles, fine lines, you may want to consider using pigments like uh, your Longevity Ultimate Youth product or getting pigments from vegetables and always, always, always use digestive enzymes with your veggies. A lot of folks know about using digestive enzymes with protein, but it turns out that digestive enzymes are also important for you to be able to access the nutrition that's in veggies, especially raw veggies or raw produce. When we eat an apple, 
There's lots of fiber that ties up the nutrients. You've got to have enzymes to break up those fibers. You also have to have enzymes to release the fats from the pigments. Your fiber enzymes are largely made by probiotics, by good bacteria. So make sure you're using probiotics. And use digestive enzymes with all meals, especially if there's going to be lots of fruits and veggies, especially if you're going to be doing lots of raw fruits and veggies. The pigments are particularly effective for the skin, for the eyes, and also, as it turns out, for the lungs, according to uh, the European Respiratory Journal. One more, and then we'll get your phone calls at 844-236-6010. From the Journal of Physiology, a diet low in specific amino acids may be a key to weight loss. Hmm, what amino acids are those? Well, they call them the branched chain amino acids, and I talk about them all the time on this program, the BCAAs. I love the BCAAs because they can get turned into energy really quickly, or not really quickly, but really, really effectively. They get turned into energy in a kind of gradual fashion, not like sugar is turned into energy. Sugar just burns. The BCAAs have to go through some me metabolism, some processing. Ultimately, energy is released, and this is, makes them a very nice a, a source of sustained slow energy. BCAAs can be helpful if you're waking up in the middle of the night because they can keep you from going into low blood sugar in the middle of the night. BCAAs are found in uh, whey protein. Uh, they're found in most building proteins, eggs and dairy and fish. You can also get BCAA supplements. If you're a bodybuilder, a weightlifter, or an athlete, you probably want BCAA supplements. But according to the Journal of Physiology, if you drop your BCAAs or reduce your BCAA content, your branch chain amino acids in your diet, you can actually, according to this study, lose some weight. Why? Because remember, the BCAAs are turned eventually into sugar. I don't know if I particularly like that strategy because you'll also be depriving yourself of building amino acids, but their point is, is if you're getting a lot of protein and you're not using it, it can get turned into fat, and you may not want to use so much BCAAs and not take in so much protein. I've, this is one of the great misunderstandings of nutrition. I was a big fan of Dr. Atkins, and the, met Dr. Atkins in the late 90s, got to spend some time with him. And I was a big fan of his, the Atkins diet, but the problem with the Atkins diet, and, and we still have this, uh, people don't really follow the Atkins diet as much, but they do something called pa paleo a little more. And the problem with paleo and the problem with the residual ideas of the Atkins diet is protein can get turned into fat eventually. So if you're eating lots of steak and you're not working out, you're not exercising, you're not repairing and growing, that steak, is a, the protein in the steak will eventually end up on your butt. It will also eventually throw off your metabolism. It will also eventually lead to things like obesity and, um, and metabolic syndrome. So you got to be careful with your protein. And I guess uh, according to the Journal of Physiology, they're starting to recognize that the BCAAs, the branch chain amino acids, the building amino acids, which are really important, can contribute to uh, obesity issues. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back on the bright side with you and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Michigan and say good morning to Pam. Hey, Pam. Hey, Ben. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. And uh, this is Pam in the, th in the thumb, no doubt. Yes, it is. I haven't called in quite a while. And uh, Where, where is the thumb, back? by the way? Where is the thumb? Is that part of, I, that's a little hook and a little thumb thing in, on the map of Michigan? On Michigan, uh-huh. Okay, gotcha. All right, cool. So it's probably a brutal winter once again or no? Uh, it's pretty darn cold here. Yes, it is. <laughs> Are you anywhere near <laughs> Hell? I, I always loved I, Hell, Michigan. I, I love that name. Are you near Hell? Well, it, could, it could be Hell here, yes. But, is it really uh, that bad? <laughs> We're close to uh, the Amish community, so it it's really more serene than where okay. we're at. Because, it, and you were talking about, you know, everything you talk about. I just, I love it. You're you're such an encyclopedia of information. Awesome, and, thank you. You know, I sincerely, from my heart, you you are just the greatest teacher. And oh, even I appreciate the that. That you just had on, you know such an agreement with Dr. Wallach and how he, you know, he wants people to be prepared and, and think of their health and just have a yeah. basic knowledge of their yeah. health. And people listen to your show. Yeah. It's, it's basic that we can understand, but it's so much more that what we really do need. 
So, um, and you had mentioned the Flint water, and so yeah, we do have that problem with the water. Um, I, I do you say you know about the lead? And how far are you from Flint? I uh, have uh, about forty-five minutes. Okay, so it's not just Flint that the pro- it's a problem. It's like the whole state. It's it's really the whole country has a problem with with lead in the water. Do they talk about it up there? Um, it was very very um, hot last year. This you know past year what you're talking about, and um, you know it's it it's got a lot of stuff going on in that area, and it was just we could get into it, but I rather Michigan not. is a, is particularly toxic, unfortunately. Yeah, our water. See, I had a hair analysis done, and I want to touch yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, so is there a certain way of prepping before you have a hair analysis? Test? No, because the hair is, the, the hair is, when you have a hair analysis, that's like what ha- what's going on in your blood and in your chemistry, like three or four or five months before. By the time it makes it in the hair, it's maybe even longer, depending on how fast your hair grows. You know what I'm saying? So your hair is a, a hair analysis is a window to what's happening, what happened inside your body six months or five months or a certain amount of time before you had the analysis. So you can't really, you're not going to prepare unless you prepare six months ahead. And the way you want to prepare is just to keep yourself, I mean, you don't even want to prepare. You want to know what's, what's happening in your body. But a hair analysis is kind of like old news. It's sort of like going backwards in a time machine. You're seeing what was in your blood six months ago. Does that make sense? You understand what I'm saying? Perfect. Someone said I needed to rinse my hair with. No, um, it's in the hair. Vinegar. No, it's in the hair. It's in the okay. hair. You want to know, first of all, you want to know what's inside it. I see what they're saying is if you rinse your hair with vinegar, heavy metals will tend to rinse out. Vinegar and, and something as, uh, acid will kind of get rid of some of the metals. But you want to know what's in your blood. You don't want to rinse it out. You see, okay. And I don't even know if you can. I don't even know if you can rinse. I don't think you can rinse it out. I think it's part of the constituency of the hair shaft, of the hair strand. So I don't think you're going to be able to rinse out a mineral that's embedded in the hair. And even if you could, you wouldn't want to. Because you, okay. want to know what's, you want to know how much lead you have in your body. That's the idea. It, it probably water, would be, a, if you spent a lot of, you know, if you lived your life in Michigan, or at least, you know, a lot, a lot of the time you spend in Michigan or in, or in some place where there's toxicity, you do want to see, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a hair analysis done, but you can assume you're going to have lead in there. And I've mostly, all of my life, lived on wells. In Texas, we lived on a well, and also here. Um, when I grew up, and now here at this home. This is a big agricultural area, mm-hmm. area. Our backyard, mm-hmm. and so, and everybody uses pesticide. fertilizer. Probably people use fertilizers and pesticides and all that stuff, and you know it's going to eventually make it into the water supply. It's not like Michigan is especially bad. You know, I, I said it's particularly bad. All the whole world is like that, and the whole United States is like that. We're all we're all swimming in an ocean of toxicity, and that's why you know you can have your hair analysis done, but what's the point? Just know you're toxic. And just, wait, are you going to, if you have a hair analysis done and they find lead and they find mercury and other nasty chemicals in there, is that going to change what you need to do anyway? No, you just got to do the same things. You're still going to need vitamin C, right? You need, Pam, we all need these detox nutrients because we're all toxic. So what's the point of having a hair analysis done or any kind of, any of these kind of tests for toxicity? If you're sick, you're toxic. You know, that's been my position here all, all along is that this, these diagnostic tests that doctors love to do. You know, they don't help us, really. You can just assume that you're toxic. You can just assume that you got a thyroid problem. You can just assume if you're past a certain age that your bones are deteriorating. You can just assume that if you've got some kind of uh, uh, autoimmune issue or, or long-term chronic health challenge of any kind that you have leaky gut syndrome. You don't need to test for leaky gut syndrome. But just assume it. And then, act, and then act accordingly. Does that make sense? Perfect. And, yeah. you know, when I was 220 pounds, I, like many other people, said, I'm fine. I'm good. Right. Right. You know, as I loaded myself up with what I needed, you know, and got the stuff out of the way, I didn't realize how sick I was. And these are, you know, 50 years of, you know, what I did wrong that now, you know, you think it's going to, you know, one pill, two pills going to fix it? No. It's going to take a while. In terms of supplements or in terms of drugs, there's no drug that's ever going to fix anything. But yeah, in terms of supplements, it's not like one, you just take this vitamin or that vitamin. You need the entire system, right? You, that, that's what makes the longevity so nice is they give you the entire system. That's why I got yeah. on board with it is because it's, it's not just one little thing. It's, an enti- it's the mighty 90 essential nutrients. It's all of them. In fact, doc, Dr. Wallach, I don't know if you know, do you ever listen to Doc on Coast to Coast? Or I'm sure you, you've been to see him. He doesn't even like talking about specific supplements. He gets people mad. Because it's not just one supplement. It's not just one vitamin or one mineral. It's the entire system. 
The body needs everything. It's it's like a uh, like a team. All the nutrients are team are, are members of a team. And uh, if you don't have the third baseman, it doesn't matter how good the rest of the eight guys are in the team, it, you're going to lose a lot of games. You're going to lose all your games, probably. And it's the same thing. You can't, you can't just take one or two or even you know, a bunch of nutrients if you're not going to do the entire system. And by the way, it's not just the supplements, as I've said so many times. It's not just the supplements. You've got to watch out for the sugar. You've got to uh, move your body and exercise. You've got to eliminate any digestive toxins. You've got to use spirit, the spiritual dimension of health and wellness, your connection to God or the universe or whatever you want to call it, your connection to all that is. You have to work mentally. You know, we can make ourselves sick mentally. We can make ourselves sick emotionally. If you're on a nutritional supplement program and you, and you get better right away, and most people will start to improve right away when they get on a nutritional supplement program, but then you plateau and then you reach a point where you're not getting better or the weight's not coming off as fast as you want or the blood pressure's not dropping as fast as it should be, then you can rest assured you have not addressed the emotional and the mental, the mental and the emotional and the spiritual dimensions those need to be addressed as well. And, and I don't talk about them anywhere near enough, but I never, ever want to be uh, it, it, on record as saying all you do is take a nutritional supplement to take care of everything that ails you. It doesn't work that way, as important as they are. You have to be operating on all the levels, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the spiritual level, the mental level, the emotional level, as well as the physical level. From a physical perspective, you get on a supplement program first and foremost. You eliminate problem foods. You reduce your blood sugar, you move your body, and you rest and you relax the fourfold square of health. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. It's not, it isn't that complicated, and there's no room for drugs in the equation, folks. There's no place for a prescription drug in health and wellness. Do you need them occasionally? Rarely. Pain pills mostly, and... Uh, and also antibiotics, and maybe if you're having an emergency to tide you over until you figure out how to handle the rest of your body, an antihypertensive or something. I, I find it very hard to, to think of a drug that in any way, shape, or form you can take chronically and long term, and somehow you will be better off for it. If you're on a prescription drug, your number one health challenge, folks, should be to figure out how to get off of it. Pam, I got to motivate. We're out of time, but I appreciate your call. I Did so you have, appreciate you, Ben. Thank you thank so you. much. God bless you. Take care. Have a beautiful day. And, uh, and that's it. I guess we're flat out of time on the bright side. I apologize if I left you on hold. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You'll find all the longevity products up as well as news stories and blog posts. And I'd love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team if you're an entrepreneur, if you're business-minded, if you want to uh, just help, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program or just get your products at the wholesale price. Love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. We can change the world together via nutritional supplementation, via understanding how the body works, via lifestyle changes. Nobody has to be sick. If you're chronically sick or you have a chronic long-term progressive illness that's not getting better, it's reversible. They're all reversible. And we can help We can help show you how, how to do it, and we can help show you how to show others how to do it. Call 866-735-2470. Join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. That's it for now. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.